Hello, and let me begin by letting you know that this is not necessarily a tutorial on how to get started with Microsoft Power BI, but I'm assuming that you're interested in Microsoft Power BI and see what you might be able to do with it. So with that in mind, I have this fake data set. It represents an IT department, and we're looking at employee competencies. So let me start with my data set, and it is an Excel spreadsheet. It's in a simple table, Microsoft Power BI allows you various ways to input data and one of those is a simple Excel sheet. So in my columns here I have an employee column where each employee is listed as you can see. Then I have a division column. The thinking there is that within the IT department there are certain areas such as a business intelligence office, an enterprise area, and some others which we'll look at later. Then we have the competency column. These are the competencies that we are tracking and we think are important for IT and we'll discuss those a little bit more. I have category here, a category column which collects, uh, or I put several competencies in certain categories so I can look at specific groups of competencies when it's important. And then the last two rows I have scores. I have the actual mastery level of each competency here in the mastery column and then the max score indicating the top of that scale. Since not all competencies are rated on the same point level system, it's important to have that max score. And it also helps with some reporting, as you'll see later. So in this first row, we have Scott as an employee and in business intelligence. He has the uh, competency of creativity at a score level of 5 which also happens to be the max score. So he's maxed out on creativity. So let's look at this data set now in Microsoft Power BI. And this will um, look a little bit overwhelming at first, but we'll take it piece by piece and you'll see how we can do some reporting and some data mining. So let's start in the upper left hand corner. And let me select that. So we have our categories of competencies. Performance review, the idea behind that is the uh, annual HR review that the entire organization takes. So all employees are rated with uh, performance reviews. And then the technical category, so this is an IT department. We are very interested in a lot of technical skills and so we have several listed. Moving down, we have the divisions that, uh, within IT. We have the business intelligence, enterprise network, and the project management office. Then over here, we have the competencies. Each one is listed, and so we can select and view those. Let's move on across the top. We have the SPAR chart where every employee is represented with their total points uh, representing the height of the bars. Right now, this doesn't mean anything because not all employees uh, are rated on the same competencies. Furthermore, not all competencies have the exact same uh, score levels. So right now, the bar chart doesn't provide some does not provide useful information. Below that, we have an employee count represented in a card. That's a term by Microsoft Power BI. So as it says, it counts the number of employees. Right now, this data set is so small, it's not as useful. But you can see how it could be useful in a real real case. And then over here, I have a gauge where we have the total amount of points possible and how close we are to that maximum. Below that is an interesting view. It is called a tree view, and I'm starting to really like it. Um, it shows each competency and the size of the uh, square rectangle here represents the point values within each area. And then over here, real quickly, we have a pie chart representing the divisions. So let's go ahead and look at some of the reporting that we can do and a little bit of data mining as well. So if I click on leadership here in the tree view, you'll see that it gets selected and that the view has changed a little bit. Now what's important here, this is a graphic view and when you click on any of these graphic elements, you're not changing the data on the dashboard. What you're doing is you're showing where that data lies. Okay, So we can see that leadership is 29 of our total points of 301. We can see that all nine employees are ranked on leadership or are accounted for. And then if I mouse over, I can see that uh, Rob has five points in leadership out of his total 53. Okay, so let me select leadership again, to, or click on it again to unselect it, and then click on creativity. Now I can see where that represents across the organization, or my department, I should say. We have five employees, and which ones uh, have uh, creativity. 
So let's jump into one of the use cases that I came up with with my LinkedIn article. And that is that I have turnover coming up. And so let me go to the network office and, oh, let me quickly go back. On the left hand side here, these are called slicers or they're filters. Slicer is the term for Microsoft Power BI. When I actually click on this, like the performance review, now the data actually changes on the dashboard. It's only data represented by the filter. So this is only performance review data on the dashboard. As I mentioned before, this is the HR kind of review that all employees take. So all nine employees are represented. And now you can see who the top performers are because this bar chart actually makes sense since everyone here is represented on the performance review. So, okay, now back to the use case that I wanted to jump into. And in the network area, I know that I have turnover coming up, and that is Jane is leaving. And so I want to see what uh, knowledge Jane has, and I want to make sure that she transfers that before she leaves. And so I have Jane and Jack here represented in the network area, and I'm interested in the technical skills. So let me put that slicer. So now I have two slicers or filters going on. I have technical and network. So we can see where Jane and Jack are. So I can see that Jane has uh, a little bit more points here than Jack. She has 24 represented there and 20 by Jack. So what are the competencies that we have that I might need to be concerned about? So I only have a few here for the example. I have config man. And I see that uh, Jane there is maxed at 10. And then Jack has some more training to do. Uh, let's look at Hyper-V. Oh, it looks like... Jane again is the lead, technical lead on Hyper-V, and Jack um, has a score level of, what is that, 4. So there's a lot more for him to learn there. And do I need to be concerned about the print server? Well, it looks like Jack is actually the technical lead, so I don't need to worry about that knowledge transfer at all. Now, perhaps um, I want to actually promote Jack into the lead, the team lead for network. So I would be concerned about, or I would be interested in looking at the performance review and see how well he's doing. So if I click on the performance review, and let me go also, uh, just go ahead and just click on Jack. And now I can see how Jack is doing on the performance review. If I look at the bottom right hand corner of this tree view, I can see that the leadership mastery is a little low. And this might make a little bit more immediate uh, sense to you if I switch back to a more traditional bar chart. So there we go. We can see that leadership is rated at a 1 out of possible 5. I also see that initiative is rated 3 out of possible 5. So I have some concerns there if I'm going to make Jack and promote him the network lead. Maybe I might want to hire out or spend that development time with Jack. So I'll have to make that decision later. So let's leave that use case, jump into another use case. Uh, the other use case that I have in the article is that there's a challenge coming up for the organization. And I want to be put together a team um, that can tackle that for me. So let's go ahead and get uh, all the filters off. And there we go. So I think a great way to comprise a team would be to look at the competencies. What kind of mix do I want? I think having some creative people on that team would be very handy. So I can see that Jane and Scott, I would make note of those two. They're five out of five on the creativity scale. And let's see, what else would I want on there? Probably some initiative. So let's see who has high initiative. It looks like I have plenty of choices there, so that's good. And what else? Maybe I would want um, some project management skills on that team. I think that would be pretty helpful for this new team. So I click on there, and I see I have Audrey and Keith maxing out on project management. And I can also see down here the division. Project management office is well represented. Makes sense, and that's a good thing. But I can also see that the network team is not represented. Maybe. In the future, or the near future, I would want my network team to have at least some knowledge of project management, so I might want to develop that. So those skills come into play for that area. So that's it for my little tutorial or little example here in Power BI, how you might use it, and hopefully it gets you thinking about how you can use it.